pretty interesting. The Nag Hammadi Codices, the Nag Hammadi Library, is a collection of 13 ancient books. This is actually 13 books in one right here. 13 ancient books called the Codices, containing over 50 texts, was discovered in Upper Egypt in 1945. This immensely important discovery includes a large number of primary Gnostic Gospels. Text once thought to have been entirely destroyed during the early Christian struggle to define orthodoxy. They tried to wipe this out, guys. <laughs> they didn't want you to get your hands on this information. But guess what? The light always wins. Scripture says the Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Philip, and the Gospel of Truth. The discovery and translation of the Nag Hammadi Library, initially completed in the 1970s, has provided impetus to a major reevaluation of early Christian history and the nature of Gnosticism. This is powerful stuff right here because it goes deep. And when you analyze the Gnostics and what they came to believe, they come to understand that based on the ancient teachings, that we are all God walking in the flesh, that there's only one consciousness that exists. There's only one. And that consciousness has literally divided itself into trillions and trillions of entities throughout the entire universe. And we're just a small part of that. And that we are literally picking up a frequency from this one source. And we are God walking in the flesh to, to experience what is it like to be Billy Carson? What is it like to be Mary Jane? What is it like to be John Doe? What is it like to be a blade of grass? What is it like to be a rock? What is it like to be the atoms in a microphone? Because every atom is conscious. We know this now because of quantum physics and quantum mechanics. We know that the double slit experiment proves that everything exists as a wave and then is collapsed into a solid structure based on conscious observation. And that the electrons orbiting those atoms make a decision to collapse into a solid structure from a wave based off of that. So they make a decision. That's consciousness. All electrons are conscious. And the Gnosticism, the Gnostics, they knew this thousands of years ago. They also had a understanding of a lot of the sources where a lot of the biblical text came from. And they knew that a lot of it was copied from ancient, further deeper ancient texts and was cultivated and put together in a way to dominate and control man, to control the masses, control mankind. Because of their belief of spirituality over religion, they used to be hunted down and killed, so they have to hide in caves to even study and practice this incredible ascension wisdom and ascension knowledge. Let's take a look at why they believe this was this uh, this uh, religious uh, version was wrong. Let's take a look at this. This is something you're not going to get in, in uh, your Bible study. They're just not going to teach you this. They're just not gonna, they're just not going to give this to you. Because they know when you get home, you ain't going to look it up. Because you know why? You're lazy. You're lazy. You're going to go to the church. You're going to sing a couple of hymns. You're going to jump around, yada, 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 put the money in the plate, go home and lay down and watch the world burn. That's what you're going to do. You're not going to contribute anything to making this planet better. You're going to focus on making money. And you're going to focus on going to work. <clears throat> and, and, and that's it. That's your two things. Paying bills and going to work. That's nothing else for you to do. I went, I paid my dues. I went to the church. I dropped my money in the plate. I jumped up and down. I got sweaty. And now I'm good to go. I, I begged for my forgiveness. And now I'm good to go. Murder and rape and pillaging. This is in the Bible. Judges 21.10 through 24. So they sent this. Now keep in mind. Remember those attributes I read in the beginning. All those great attributes of God. Remember those now as, as I read this, because God is now giving commands to people. And I'm going to go into some New Testament stuff as well. So they sent 12,000 warriors to Jabesh, Gilead, with orders to kill everyone there, including women and children. This is what you are to do, they said. Completely destroy all the males and every woman who is not a virgin. How are they going to know that? Among the residents of Jabesh, Gilead, they found 400 young virgins who had never slept with a man, and they brought them to the camp at Shiloh in the land of Canaan. The Israelite assembly sent a peace delegation to the little remnant of Benjamin, who were there living at the Rock of Remnant. Then the men of Benjamin returned to their homes, and their 400 women of Jabesh Gilead, who were spared, 
were given to them as wives. So they took these women, they abducted them, found out they were virgins. Okay, now you're going to marry, you're going to be the wives of these dudes over here who you don't even know. But there were not enough women for all of them. The people felt sorry for Benjamin because the Lord had left his gap in the tribes of Israel. So the Israelite leaders asked, how can we find wives for a few who remain since all the women of the tribe of Benjamin are dead? Yeah, because he killed them. There must be heirs for the survivors so that an entire tribe of Israel will not be lost forever. But we cannot give them uh, our own daughters in marriage because we have sworn with Solomon an oath, a sworn and solemn oath, that anyone who does this will fall under God's curse. Then they thought of the annual festival of the Lord held in Shiloh between Lebanon and Bethel along, e along the east side of the road that goes down from Bethel to Shechem. They told the men of Benjamin, who still needed wives, go and hide in the vineyards. Go and hide in the vineyards. When the women of Shiloh come out for, uh, out for their dances, rush out to the vineyards, and each of you take one and take them to them be your wife. That's stalking and abduction. And then their fathers and brothers come to us in protest. When, they, when their fathers and brothers come to us in protest, we will tell them, please be understanding. Let them have your daughters, for we didn't find enough wives for them when we went and destroyed Jabesh Gilead. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Here's more murder and rape and pillage of the Midianites. They attacked the Midian just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The Lord commanded Moses. They killed all the men, all five of the Midianite kings. Ebi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba died in the battle. They also killed Balaam, son of Beor, with the sword. Then the Israelite army captured the Midianite women and children and seized their cattle and flocks and all their wealth as plunder. They burned all the towns and villages where the Midianites had lived after they had gathered the plunder and captives, both people and animals. They brought them all to Moses and Eleazar, the priest, and the whole community of Israel, which was camped on the plains of Moab beside Jordan River across from Jericho. Moses, Eleazar, the priest, and all the leaders of the people who went to meet them outside the camp. But Moses was furious with all the military commanders who had returned from the battle. Why have you let all the women live? He demanded. Why have you let all the women live? This is the guy who got you, gave you the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill, right? They are, very one, they are the very ones who followed Balaam's advice and caused the people of Israel to rebel against the Lord at Mount Peor. In other words, they didn't want to believe on the foolishness that they were given. They are the ones who caused the plague to strike the Lord's people. Oh, really? Okay. Sounds like uh, the sickness that we just had. Now kill all the boys, all the women who have slept with a man, only the young girls who are virgins may live. You may keep them for yourselves. Oh, you can kill everybody, but if you find any virgins, make sure you keep them because they're good. Clearly, Moses had God's approval of rape of virgins. Full video and playlist linked below. <gasps> Spiritual News Television. AA Creation 911.